Ladies and gentlemen, my name is David Gilkey, and I have the distinct pleasure of going ahead and introducing to you OutSystems Mentor App Gen and Mentor App Editor. As you can see, I'm greeted by OutSystems ODC, or OutSystems Developer Cloud Portal. I can come up here into the right-hand corner and select Create and Create with AI. I'm immediately taken to OutSystems Mentor App Generator, where I can go ahead and type in a text-based prompt, leverage one of the examples that are listed right here, or upload a requirements document, which is what I'm going to go ahead and do. I'm going to go ahead and select Claims Management Solutions and kick off the natural language processing on that requirement document. So natural language processing is actually going through that word requirement document and pulling out the different data sources as well as different data roles that will be needed for this application. And as I can see, it's pulled out the different data related to the claim management solution, and I can go ahead and modify it if I wish as well. But I'm going to go ahead and generate this application and kickstart Mentor App Generator to go ahead and leverage a couple of moments to go ahead and build out the application. And in the meantime, I'm going to walk you through that word requirements document and show you what the application requirements document looks like behind the scenes. And I just went out to ChatGPT and downloaded um, a word requirements document for an insurance industry around claims management solutions. And it's an application requirements document that states insurance companies require efficient tools to process claims, detect fraud, and manage customer satisfaction. Some of the key features are claim submission and tracking, fraud detection system, document management, approval workflow, and customer notification system. Some of those key personas that we already saw get pulled out by Mentor App Generator via the natural language processing are policyholders, claim adjusters, and fraud investigators. And thinking of how we're going to process through this application, the business flows are a customer submits a claim. The system performs initial validation and flags potential fraud, and the adjuster reviews and processes that claim. So thinking of a very simple application requirements document and thinking of your own organization, I'm sure you already have application requirements documents very similar to this one. I'm sure you also have knowledge workers across your organization that could type in a prompt to turn an, to turn an idea into an application in a matter of mere moments. So let's go ahead and check in on Mentor App Gen to see how that generation process is coming along. All right, so it looks like we're approximately 70% done in relation to creating this application. And thinking of a conversation that I had with OutSystems Chief Operating Officer Carlos Elves last week, I'm, I'm thinking of the time saved by leveraging Mentor App Gen and actually thinking about the paradigm of low code and traditional development as well. And thinking of traditional development, I'm going to say it takes a matter of months to go ahead and develop an application. And arbitrarily, I'm going to say a matter of 36 months. By leveraging out systems, we can change that 36 months into a matter of weeks or 36 weeks. Now, by leveraging Mentor App Generator, we can now shorten it into a matter of moments. So going from months to weeks to moments, shifting over to the left, taking that light bulb moment, that idea, and put it in hands of end users that much faster. Now, I had the opportunity of going ahead and demoing Mentor App Generator when I was down at Gartner Symposium down in Orlando. And we were talking about some of the different reasons that somebody would want to leverage Mentor App Generator. And I said, from a developer perspective, it solves that blank page problem. Thinking about staring at that blank page, whether you're building out your first computer science program or even writing your thesis, you stare at that blank page for far too long before you can actually put pen to paper and type out that first idea. The other idea that we had while talking about this at, at Gartner Symposium was hackathons. So thinking of your own organization and thinking of conducting hackathons, you probably have a team of developers that you lock in a room for either a day or even a week taking those, those mission critical, those organizational critical ideas and bringing them to life. By leveraging Mentor App Generator, we can actually accelerate that idea, that prototyping of those applications from a hackathon perspective and shifting that focus to the left to those knowledge workers. 
So that way we can go ahead and have those BAs or those knowledge workers take their ideas and actually test it out to see if it's an idea worth taking forward and figuring out if we should implement. Alrighty, so now we're actually bringing the screens to life and we're gonna see on the screen a generated look and feel of the application that was generated with Mentor App Generator. And we're gonna see the sample screens where we can go ahead and leverage Mentor App Editor to continue to customize the screens as we see fit. So we can see some of the screens that have been generated by Mentor App Generator right here. Now from a Mentor App Editor perspective, I can press the plus sign on any of these different categories and by leveraging natural language processing, I can modify these screens in live time right here. So I can add in from a fraud investigations perspective, the investigation type, for instance. And I'm going to add that in right now. And we're going to see the screens modify themselves right here and there. So we can see that these different screens have now gone ahead and been changed by Mentor App Editor. I'm going to go ahead and publish out this application. In a matter of seconds, we're going to be able to take a look at the application that Mentor App Generator and Mentor App Editor has gone ahead and created for us. Alrighty, so we've seen that the application is now indeed successfully published. I'm gonna press the preview button in the top right corner and take a look at that application. And it seems as though I didn't log out of my previous session, so I'm gonna log out and log back in. I can see the different sample users that are listed right here based upon an admin, a claims adjuster, a fraud investigator, as well as a policyholder. I'm going to go ahead and log in with one of these sample users now. Alrighty, so I can see the dashboard that Mentor App Gen has gone ahead and created for me. I can see the top five policy holders by claim amount, as well as the claim status distribution. I can click into the various different claims and take a look at the different claim statuses as well, and take a look at what we currently have from a context perspective. I can go ahead and see the different notifications as well in relation to this claim as well as where it currently sits from a workflow perspective. I'm going to log out as this individual and log in as a secondary persona and show you what I see as one of the benefits of leveraging Mentor App Gen. So by logging in as administrator, I'm greeted by once again another similar dashboard. But what I'm going to say is the highlight of logging in as the administrator is the ability to go ahead and manage my own application data. So thinking of your own organization and how Mentor App Gen generates sample data for you, you can go ahead and upload context aware data as well for your own organization. So if you wish to upload your own claim data, notification data, or even fraud investigation data in context of this application, you can indeed do so. Now, the final thing that I'll go ahead and men mention from a mentor demo perspective is the fact that we can now leverage Mentor App Editor to continue bi-directionally edit this application. So I can edit it both in App Editor as well as in ODC Studio. My name is David Gilkey, and thank you again for watching this brief mentor demonstration. Thank you again.